Yeah. Let's now bring in uh, San Juan uh, Mayor elect Francis Zamora. Good afternoon, Mayor Zamora. Yes, uh, good afternoon at maraming salamat po sa pag-imbita sa akin. Ed? <laughs> Ikaw naging tuso. Inahanap ko si Mayor eh. Kusa ko lang si Mayor kanina naman. Ayan, yan si Mayor. Kusa ko lang si Mayor kanina naman. Mayor, parang madaling araw here. yung ano, no? Uh, anong oras kayo na-proclaim? Madaling araw uh, kayo na-proclaim? Around, ele- yeah, around 11 p.m. last night. Oh, last, last night. night. Last, last night. night. Yeah. Yun. Yeah. Ang San Juan po ang uh, nauna na nagkaroon ng proclamation. Kaya at, uh, kami po ay nagpapasalamat dahil maaga rin po kaming... Uh, nakapagpahinga na, na siyempre yung anxiety ng uh, paghihintay ng proclamation. Ha? So, medyo sandali lang po ang uh, naging waiting period namin. Mayor, was it a surprise, well, win or a victory for you? Nagulat Actually, ba kayo? Honestly, or, no? or, or, kasi ang, ang isang lumalabas, ano, lahat mga incumbent mayor, at least karamihan, eh medyo uh, nananalo. And it might be related to pandemic response or something like that, Mayor. So do you think na nagulat pa kayo na ganito yung lamang nyo or what? Uh, ako naman po tama. Na, naniniwala ko na ang COVID-19 talaga ang biggest issue nitong campaign. No? Kung naalagaan natin natin mga mamamayan, nabakunahan ba natin sila, nabigyan ba natin sila ng ayuda, no? nagutom ba sila o hindi. No? Ito yung mga issues and concerns sa ating mga mamamayan ngayong uh, panahon ng halala. At, uh, ako naman po, I can honestly say that uh, San Juan uh, was able to do very well uh, during this time of pandemic. In fact, uh, tayo po ang unang nakapagkamit ng herd immunity sa buong Pilipinas. Na number yeah. one po tayo sa vaccination. 19 waves of food packs ayuda all over the city. So we really made sure that uh, our constituents were uh, well taken care of itong uh, pandemic. Uh, we made sure na protected sila, vaccinated sila, no? lahat ng concerns sila. Uh, uh, in terms of COVID uh, issues, I uh, addressed. No? And it's just, uh, for me, no? opportunity rin ito uh, for mayors to shine. No? COVID uh, uh, is uh, it's an unusual situation for us mayors. In fact, wala naman talaga mayor na handa dito, kahit naman sa buong mundo. No? But... Uh, ito yung opportunity para sa isang mayor to step up no? and to show ano bang kaya niya uh, bilang uh, pinuno ng lungsod. At uh, yun din po ang ating ginawa no? dahil alam ko na ating mga mamamayan ay talagang nangangailangan ng uh, pag-alaga at pagkalinga na itong panahon ng pandemia. Uh, I want to share also that we won 15-0. So lahat po ng position sa San Juan ay ating naipanalo from uh, mayor to congresswoman to Vice Mayor and to all 12 uh, city councilors. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Okay. Mayor, politika naman. Uh, uh, I, I, I hope this, this does not sound too, uh, no, too, too early uh, kasi kakapanalo pa lang ninyo. Eh. Pero, well, clearly, yung uh, karibal po ninyong pamilya sa San Juan, eh, they, they've uh, gained ground <laughs> naman sa national level. Uh, you have both Jingoy and oh, JV. Uh, practically bagging uh, seat in the Senate. Uh, I know you I, I know you were able to beat sa uh, yung yung kalaban ninyo sa PMP. Uh, pero uh, do, are you foreseeing some sort of a uh, an attempt at a comeback uh, in in the next three years from your political rivals? Yeah. Well, tingnan natin kung ano mangyayari. Uh, if if uh, they both indeed win in the Senate, that means uh, six years sila diyan. So, pare-parehas kaming hanggang 2028 kung sakali, no? if I will uh, win my third term, third term, so we will all end our terms in 2028. So, tingnan natin yung magiging dynamics na. No? Uh, it's not something that we're really uh, looking at no? or uh, thinking about at this point. But uh, let's see kung ano magiging final results po sa Senado. Basta, ang focus ko po ay dito sa San Juan. Patuloy po tayong... Uh, maglilingkod na maayos, yung uh, pagpapatuloy na makabagong San Juan. Ito po yung pinaka-campaign slogan namin. No? At uh, nagtiwala po ang uh, aming mga mamamayan sa amin, sa aming liderato at sa mga kandidato po natin. Mayor Zamora, beyond COVID response, what are your plans and priorities for San Juan over the next six years? Yes, a lot of our projects and programs were derailed by COVID. No? Uh, In fact, uh, we had to realign a lot of our budget, a lot of manpower also uh, to COVID response. So now that uh, things are slowly going back to normal, we can again focus on our priority programs. We are currently building two high-rise in-city public housing uh, buildings. 
Uh, yung isa po dyan, 22 stories, isa 23 stories. So ito ay uh, kauna-unahang high-rise in city socialized public housing sa buong Pilipinas. Uh, tayo po ay one is to one na rin po sa tablets per public school student. And uh, right now, we also expanded our free fiber optic internet connection sa mga households po nila uh, para magamit nila sa online education and uh, all other internet uh, services that they will need. Yung ating social services po ay uh, matibay in terms of uh, medical, financial, hospital assistance, yung sa cremation, sa burial assistance. Lahat po yan ay in place. So, wala ho kaming babaguhin sa totoo lang. Uh, yung 15-0 po na boto o tiwala na natanggap namin, it, it validates that what we have done during our first uh, term is something that uh, our people appreciate. So we will not really change anything. In fact, we will continue uh, what we are doing uh, because uh, with the results of the elections, it shows that our people uh, indeed appreciate uh, the kind of service that we're giving them. Kiri, sana ako, Mayor, tukos sa Pamilya Zamora eh. Uh, uh, dahil, <laughs> Sige, please. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a follower ng isa sa mga kamag-anak ninyo no, sa social media. At uh, lumalabas na parang ano, no, iba-iba yung sinuportahan ng, uh, ng mga Zamoras nitong uh, <laughs> nagdaang eleksyon. Pero posible pala na okay lang sa pamilya at hindi kailangan mag-away-away. No? Ganun ba naging sitwasyon? Well, ako, uh, from the start, I've been uh, very supportive of... Uh, President Bongbong Marcos and Vice President uh, Sara Duterte. Uh -huh. uh, ako naman po, may sariling decision. No? If my other family members uh, decided to uh, support uh -huh. other candidates, yun naman po ay uh, nirerespeto ko. At ganoon din naman po, ako yung nirerespeto ko nila. No? So, it doesn't mean naman that uh, family members should only support uh, one candidate. Uh, depende naman po yan sa aming uh, paniniwala. But again, no, if I may share, ang uh, pinakamalaking factor kasi para sa akin is uh, si BBM po ay talagang uh, dito sa San Juan lumaki. No? For most of his life, he lived here. In fact, uh, the day he was born in Lourdes Hospital, which is at the boundary of uh, San Juan and Mandaluyong, up to the day his father became president, dito po siya sa Barangay Edition Hills sa lungsod ng San Juan tumira. So malaking bagay ho yun ang uh, Pangulo ng uh, Pilipinas ay isang San Juanenyo. No? Dahil uh, sa aming mga pangangailangan bilang isang lungsod no, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of social services, eh, all other needs of our city. Alam ko no, na kapag ako'y lumapit para sa aking lungsod, no, ako'y lumapit sa Pangulo ng Pilipinas, alam ko tutulungan niya po kami dahil nagarito siya. Okay, I think okay. that po, no, no, Mayor, yung tatay din ata nyo, uh, well, nagsilbi din under former President Marcos. Uh, yes, uh, oh. a very long time ago, uh, oh. that, uh, when my father topped the bar exams in 1969, uh, he was handpicked by uh, then President uh, Ferdinand Marcos. Yes. So, dun din nagsimula ang kanyang uh, public service career uh, sa Malacanang, and then eventually naging congressman po siya ng uh, San Juan for 10 terms. Yeah. So, yes, uh, my father has served uh, under President uh, Ferdinand Marcos uh, for a very long time. Okay, that would be Congressman Ronnie Zamora. Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes Apo. Right. Okay. Uh, Nagsimula yung maging Congressman ng IVP, Interim yes, Batasal Pabansa. True. Uh -huh. Okay.